Welcome everyone back to another week of Amateur Toilet 2 Leak Season 6 any entry Because this morning you see me cast on the EU servers to go to match And now we have Defense of the Patients versus Warlocks of the Beach Warlocks currently seed 5-1 top of the league sharing it with Class C Class C up I totally Dada forgot their game. I casted their game last week. Uh, they are 5-1 sharing it. They will play Vendetta Gaming this week. And Warlock would definitely want to take two games to remain at the top of the league right here. And Defensive for Ancient is currently 3, three wins and 3 loses. They played they play and drew pick. 1 each against Vendetta. They lost to Shadow Killer and then they beat 2-0 Akana Defenders. Warlocks of course have beaten Shadow Killer 2-0, beaten Vendetta 2-0 and won a piece with Class T Class e something gaming, I can't really remember. <laughs> and to the ban phase here we have Tidehunter Ten being banned out remaining. by Defense of the Patient. Uh, I believe definitely they have seen Chalzer play and he's very really good on the Tidehunter off lane. The Void is also being banned out as one of the stronger core heroes as of now. Um, Partner being banned out by Warlocks of the Beach and of course Lion 2. Lion being one of the best support right now, scales extremely well with Lever and throughout the game. Um, definitely one of the more effective supports right here. So. Still extremely early, um, Vengeful Spirit as the first pick being picked up by Warlocks of the Beach, a ganking and team fight oriented hero. Not not much of the team fight basically being so since Aura and negative time. armor have got this ability to just swap up cores and save their lives. But in general, a pretty good hero to pick up. Dire Only Knight being picked up by Defense of the Patience doesn't contribute a lot during the laning phase, but definitely a major hero to um, a major role to play during the team fight in the later game. The later it goes, of course, the higher the amount of physical burst damage Radiant to begin with. Um, a free BK, 12 second BKB that is constant throughout the, the game, doesn't fall down to 5 seconds. Crazily ridiculous low cooldown compared to the BKB. And of course, Guardian Angels. An excellent team Radiant fight mechanism. Team um, Santa Warrior being picked up as the second pick in their double pick for defense of the patient. Santa Warrior, um, a good offlane hero. Some peer players play as a core too. It's excellent to engage and disengage too with its ultimate. And Dire Disruptor here back. being picked up a team fight orientated hero. Definitely static field. Um, is it? It's core static. Feel, right? Yep, Static, static Storm. Not Static Feel. <laughs> static Storm, man. Excellent spell to just Ten drop down and remaining. disrupt a team fight. If you can catch someone, especially Five late in the game, um, people use an eels to connect with a Static Feel to just Reserve cash time. a. It's actually a Static Storm. Static Radiant Storm. <laughs> to cash a like pretty well fucked core and you can just bring him down very, very with a glimpse and a static storm with the kinetic field. Ten seconds oh, remaining. That's just terrible. Anyway, um, silencer Five being banned out was the third ban right there. That um, a silencer is definitely a major problem to Central Warrior and Omni Knights. Silencer global silence Dire is just an back. excellent ultimate to just stop or start an engagement in a team fight you can just jump in throw your ultimates Dire and you use the global silence and the opponents cannot react to it even if your opponent have a, a very good team fight lineup they just can't execute their spells well and <coughs> Huska being banned up as the fourth ban by defense of the patients Axe, X here being banned up by Wallace of the beach a excellent core hero right now being nerfed though has he been nerfed? I believe he has. Yes, the patch has came in. Ten he has been nerfed. Remaining. And Nygma also being banned up as the fourth ban. Another remaining. hero that contrib contributes a lot to the <coughs> team fight phase, but Reserve does not time. doesn't Which really contribute die. much to the laning Radiant phase. So pick. I personally think Defense of Patient probably wouldn't risk too much picking up the Enigma along with the Omi Knight, two of your support to have almost zero contribution to the lanes in the early game. 
could make you lose the lane very very badly third pick being picked up by defense of patience here is wish doctor um an excellent team fight hero there and it looks like defense of the patient is gearing towards a more team fight orientated lineup and of course it's clear warlock isn't going for a split pushing lineup which would be really really strong against a team fight lineup we have here Reserve and it looks like it will be a Rubin's Tinker will be picked up again um, last week he didn't have that great of a game against um, class E when he played Tinker but in the second game he was really really sensational after that so that's why it was one against one but remember his previous game against Vendetta his Tinker was just outstanding and slaughtered the whole team from start to finish and so we, it does look like with the Tinker remaining. pick up we are going towards a more pick off team a ganking with the Tinker and the Vengeful Spirit roaming along with the Disruptor just setting the whole Reserve thing up time. but of course warlocks do require a core hero that has not been shown just yet and defense of the patient now of course is in the advantage where they know the tinker is going mid so they could pick a a tiny whips combo to deal with the tinker is definitely something really really good but an invoker will be picked up instead by the defense of the ancient because i mean the tiny whips combo is excellent against the tinker but if you pick a tiny whips combo in this line up mm. I don't think it's that great honestly <laughs> probably wouldn't work out very well either Reaver being picked up by Wall of the Beach will probably be on the safe lane unless Charles will be playing it on the off lane not uns not completely rare and unseen of but Reaver is a capable off lane hero and the way the Invoker pick up Five seconds would go remaining. pretty well against the Tinker, I guess. It is a quite an even matchup, I personally believe, Reserve for Invoker to go against the Tinker. We're waiting here for the fifth ban, and it does look here that <coughs> Defense of the Patient lack a core Radiant carry, a hot carry that could carry the game later. Or maybe they just play the team fight and win this match as early as possible. And anti mage being banned out right here. Most of their heroes are extremely mana dependent and high on mana too. Ten seconds. Not high remaining. on mana actually. Omi Knight has a lot of problems with his mana pool. Five seconds and remaining. Waiting for a fifth ban from Warlocks of the Beach, reserve who time. will use their reserve time to think about a hero that they want to ban out over here. <coughs> Because the troll warlock is still um, within the in the pool, surprisingly, <laughs> troll warlock war trance could work pretty well with invoker and troll snaps, and <laughs> troll warlock will be banned out by warlocks of the beach. <laughs> um, so it's now up to defense of the patience to pick up a core carry hero and warlocks of the beach likely would pick up another core hero or an offlane hero for Chowser to play on what are we looking at um a wraith king will be picked up as Radiant a team core pick. carry i believe for defense of the patience not the worst choice though wraith king has the problem of mobility and often needs to spend the earlier goal on the blink dagger to gain mobility which does not scale at all definitely of course if the gang pays off then it will be better and medusa will be picked up by warlock of the beach as they are core and very very hard carry and chowser will go on to the river as an off lane river as previously discussed Legit Harry, the uh, call carry player, will go on the Medusa. And so, a quick introduction here Chowser on the off lane Reaver, Colina and Bugaloo on the support, Prepare Vengeful Spirit and Disruptor. I will be back on his tink mid Tinker, and Legit Harry will be Medusa going towards the bottom lane. Um, Beast, I'm assuming, will be the mid player that we see right now, will be on the Invoker, the Brave King. Cyphers will play as the hot carried Wraith King 
and Joytif likely going on to the off lane as third position Santo Warrior, Witch Doctor and Ominight, um played by Easy Mac and Denomalous. I always suck at pronouncing name. And pretty hard to say which would go as the fourth or fifth positions. So they are both really really good hero to be fourth position. Thirty seconds. Their scepters and are all important. <coughs> but Charles are diving really really deep here. Of course he does have Sukuchi to maintain a safe distance and get out of here. Not much stun we have here, just two this is a one second stun I believe. We have the books one second on hero and this is a two seconds. That's a three second stun, but he will be able to Sukichi out of deck and a long cooldown from there, so he won't be able to challenge with this rune and beyond just a Sukichi run through nothing much beyond deck. The both teams will give the bounty rune to the mid lane hero and now we have the game underway. No wards being dropped into the Junger by the Dire team, but a ward drop down here by Chowser to block off the small camp, the pool camp actually. We we'll call it the small camp. Block off the pool camp for the top lane and aggressive tri lane. As we can see a okay, arguably a defensive tri lane. Omi Knight has little to no contribution in early game, especially considering he's supporting the Wraith King. Never. So. <coughs> I think the river will be having a pretty easy game, easy lane here. Um, Normalus will not be able to contribute much except for increasing this. Oh, that's some sad bounce right there, but increasing the sustainability of the team lineup in general. And Witch Doctor also can't really be extraordinarily aggressive with not too much lockdown. And the meet here, we have the Invoker versus the Tinker as expected. Arubin, uh, as you remember, will be is always an aggressive, very very aggressive. He's just gonna take the EMP and ignore it completely, working towards a fast border, I believe, or an early. Some people love to work towards an early no talisman first to increase the amount of damage output. Um, Colin, Colina here working on the a uh, small camp and a pool to maybe working on the double pool trying to get a double pool but a little bit too late there missing the double pool but of course the double pool would be extremely helpful and a little bit too late First I think yes the pool sorry oh sorry about that a engagement First onto one. the meat and tinker a rubin will go one level clear off the invoker after taking first blood he will get his boots and his border Invoker in a pretty bad position right now. Never, you never want to give our first blood one on one in mid. You you wouldn't mind giving away first blood to like a three or four man gang on you because you, at least you would still maintain a pretty reasonable level count. But he might be engaged upon here. Um, nope. Invoker isn't too interested to just tap to chase this down as the border of Tinker comes out and he might be able to patch up right now Medusa having a really really good time farming and as expected the, the pool and just the early game pool just isn't really doing too great for the top lanes as you can see they are all struggling even the Omin I cannot maintain enough heal amount for the Wraith King here his level is too low a try lane making him gain damage. insufficient levers. Double damage room being picked up by Invoker but really not much he could do with it I guess. Too low lever but he does have cold snap skill in. Tornado chaining into a cold snap he does not have enough mana so it doesn't really matter. But a botter already ready on the Tinker who as you can see skill built towards the ganking orientated Tinker instead of a more passive uh, more passive push oriented, split push oriented singer and he looks like he is interested to engage on this invoker not in position invoker realizes he was missing a laser being shot out <coughs> and the miss will go up probably just throwing out a little bit of harassment before he pick up his next <coughs> rune that will spawn really really soon 
and that oh, sorry that Chowser actually the triple three of them engaging they're getting the kill onto Chowser a key kill definitely helping this lane get some important goal and experience much needed um, Chowser is level 4 actually doing pretty well compared to the Centaur considering he just died once so pretty even the two off lanes are doing pretty evenly and a illusion rune being picked up by the Tinker as he patched up with his mana more, more harassment being thrown up right there illusion of the tinker being used to scout the situation out the rune also already picked up who picked up the bounty rune disruptor is the one that picks up the bounty rune he might try to dive here to try to kill on this invoker but invoker backs off to behind the tower a little bit too far away for a rubin's liking It's all the same to me. A little bit of deny war coming out here by Invoker really struggling here. Six kill six last hits and one deny compared to twenty and ten. EMP being thrown out. The stun bounces between the Tinker and the Illusion, but the Tinker would now turn against this Invoker. Oh no, he's just thrown out a laser for the miss so that he could run away. No border charges for him, but he does have 4 tangos and able to heal up right here just throws out a missile to hit both the invoker and the wish doctor who will be no, he's not gonna wait 30 seconds for a rune I guess and Sento warrior up to level 5 right here and Chowser on the other hand oh heals onto the a stun being thrown up right here a ultimate being popped right here where can we go down and a potential re-engagement onto the Witch Doctor who could be in trouble here. Tsukuchi is cooled down right here. Double kill going the way of Chowser who just... His death now pays back with two... With a double kill and he is level 7 compared to the Central Warrior. Just... The attempt to shut him down didn't pay off now. Two centuries ward drop but he will come back with two kills right there. A very good use of his ultimate to this to stay alive and get the Wraith King and just over aggression from the Witch Doctor to give away the second kill. Might have been a miscommunication, he might have thought Omni Knight had the mana to heal him up but obviously he did not. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Sentry was being dropped down here, Double Sentry was covering the whole full lane to prevent him from diving too deep. Would they be interested to chase this? He will run out of the range of the Sentry wards. I'm not sure whether they are interested to just a regeneration room here, so... Laser being shot out right there and before the regeneration room is popped, the Invoker might want to be careful, a missile and the... A missile and a laser would likely be able to burst him down. 320, 400, 600 damage right there. Um, not enough, actually. It looks like Joy Thief is asking for a gank cast here, and Witch Doctor TPing into the middle lane, trying to gain some protection for him. Um, as you can see, the I think even by just laning itself, the Warlocks is getting gaining a 4,000 gold lead. Of course, we do have a 3 to 1 kill, which isn't too big. <coughs> I'll take that. An aggression here onto Joy Thief, but nothing much to follow, I guess. A smoke gang here coming up from the top lane. I Chowser left for a free farm on the top lane, and I. He might have noticed something's wrong. We have oh being spotted out by Corina here. Uh, Tinker will get a kill on Invoker in the middle. Stun coming out on Corina. Chain stun. He will go down. And they don't look interested to continue or attempt to turn this fight. No TPing coming from his man. River TPing in right here. Potential re-engagement. 
Um, no slow coming up, but just consider a shot up here. Rave King does have his ultimate ready. Omina walking into a bad position right there. Vengeful Spirit does have a stun. Rave King might be trying to force. Might be trying to force his ultimate to pop right there, but the Omi Knight will go down, stun troll out onto Joy Team by Bogalu. And Rich Doctor might, may not be able to go down, but Bogalu in danger right here as Invoker comes into the picture. Vengeful Spirit manages to get out of the way. No, no hitting coming out from Cypress. Cypress will go down here instead. Very nice dodge here by the Vengeful Spirit. And lasers and missile will bring down Joy Teeth. And Arrowbeam gets a killing spree off there after killing the Invoker twice. Very, very well played and well, and well executed here by the Warlocks of the Beach and a 1400 gold swing. 1400 gold swing towards the Warlocks team. Arrowbeam here already has his boots of travels. And looking towards a soul ring, uh, already has a soul ring now. Um, Medusa just building up as a tank for now, so he, I guess so he could participate more in the war. Uh, Disruptor working towards a early, really early mechanism, honestly. Um, guess Chowser is working towards a oh, Lincoln Sphere, considering the Ring of Health pickup, Ring of Regeneration, Ring of Health pickup. Um, Vengeful Spirit, fifth position, poor as usual. Just what the doctor ordered. And no significant items being picked up on any of the dire team heroes, but an invisibility wound here on Kalina. He's not level 6 though, so he might not be able to engage Denied. on this invoker. But is he interested though? With a glimpse and a static view, he might be able to get something done right here. But nope, they will push up the lane. And Tinker on the other hand. Oh, the tornado just misses to catch him. And a Ruby will walk out of there alive. What a dodge right there. And Witch Doctor coming in right here. More, more aggression from there. And just an aggression here. Witch Doctor will be caught right there by the Venture Spirit and will go Dyer's down. That will be World TP home safely. It might have been a bait. Might have been just an over aggression. But his team was there to cover him up. TP coming in from the Omi Knight who still does not have his ultimate up. EMP drop. But will not hit any of the heroes. Glimpse being used onto the Omi Knight, but does not send him back to the base. Re engagement by Charles right here. Laser and rocket onto the um, Invoker, but heals up. And no one goes down there. Definitely, if, if Kalina managed to send the Omi Knight back home, this would have been a really, really different game. Now, Invoker would be forced back and they would be able to take this middle tower easily but just a little bit too late to cash him with the 4 second glimpse and right now a potential mid war coming up but they need to oh Tinker is not gonna come back to put more pressure onto this team Tinker is definitely very powerful here being able to bring down the Omnia Witch Doctor and Invoker in an extremely fast manner especially since he's max off his laser and rocket first he actually has clarity potion popped not sure why but he has a clarity potion pop and this engagement here in the middle no intention to continue this Dyer's push top tower is under as attack. the as Chowser will solo push the top lane and as Rave King TP in with the Centaur Warrior and an Omni Knight coming in as a backup he realized attack. something's not too right here about the TP <coughs> the Centaur Warrior will be forced to pop the TP because the Tinker is pushing the bottom lane in no level 11 swap just yet, so only a defensive probability, very hard to use offensively <coughs> for this swap. The armor have our missions. And only like they're getting really really low. Stun coming out from Chowser, a pew, very painful pure damage coming out there and he will go low. No ultimate pop to cancel that. Another stun could mean death right here. Witch Doctor are also rotating top here, so you have here Tinker coming in right now with a missile launch up onto the Wraith King. 
not catching anyone else much of machine drop down to force the dire team backwards but it looks like Rave King is interested to try to catch someone. A stun and a heal would be able to bring him down. Wish Doctor and Omi Knight does not have their ultimate up yet. They are very, very behind in levers. Level 5 each. Disruptor having his ultimate ready right now. Showing up some... Um, just trying to clear the creep right here. And an engagement stun onto the... <coughs> Medusa pops his ultimate, the Rave King will go down but his ultimate will also pop back up immediately and the stun troll out of Medusa who is out of mana and no Nomo is getting burst down really really quickly by Chowser continues, Chowser continues to pick onto the Witch Doctor who he manages to stay alive and Witch Doctor will go down to the missile from Arubin and a channeling cooldown laser Glimpse. He grims back, he's dead, definitely. Laser will pop up. Oh, no laser actually. Uh, right click will bring the Rave King down for the third kill with zero deaths right here. And a 1000 gold lead. Swinging the way of Warlocks of the Beach. And Chowser manages to stay alive there. Even Medusa manages to stay alive there. Excellent execution in deck engagement right there from the from Warlock. And Witch Doctor will TP in now. And an ultimate being thrown up immediately on the Witch Doctor. Excellent play for Kalina here. Might even be able to bring this Witch Doctor down. One last hit. He will not be able to bring the Witch Doctor down right there. But Kalina diving in here and getting... <laughs> Chowser, sorry. Diving in here and getting the kill on the... Getting the kill on the Witch Doctor. And now the beast is being poked up by Chowser. Extremely painful. Stun troll out on Chowser. But he will dodge it with his Sakuchi. And no more aggression to follow. Reaver hitting really really hard with his Ring of Aquila and the Perseverance itself giving him a lot of damage to deal with the really low hit points on Witch Doctor and it starts being thrown up onto the Disruptor Stun follow up but onto Skeleton King but it doesn't matter Tornado will be sufficient to bring him down No mana on Rubin who will be brought down by Joy Teeth and Chowser being stunned up right now but he might be able to bring down the Rave King and he will Everyone here is extremely low HP True heroes being brought down by the Venture Spirit and the Reaver Ultimate troll up swap use to disengage on that and Chowser will get his triple kill onto the Witch Doctor. Team wipe right there. Chowser timing his ultimate to perfection and dodging the necessary skills, staying alive. Catches a lot and if okay, it was wasn't much. A 500 goes soon. Definitely because of the death of Tinker who was on a on a streak, I believe. Who was picked up by the central warrior so that's why the, the lack of gold swing and medusa work, working towards a casual yasha right now we're working directly towards a a menta star maybe or might be just getting casual yasha for attack speed and just damage in general um, Disruptor does has his ultimate ready and a glimpse coming up from the junker could, could turn into a disaster for Dyer's defense of the patient. Tower is under attack. They see the Rave King coming here. Reaver will come in and start poking onto the Rave King who still has his ultimate on cooldown. He'll be popped up right here on through Cyphers to keep him in lane but the Invoker being biked and picked up by the Dyer's just bottom tower is two hits attack. and the damage reduction brings him down to half health. A lot of healing though coming up from his quest and of course the OB Knight in general just healing them back up. And Witch Doctor extending here onto the Reaver who will engage onto oh, him, engage onto him and will be brought down by the Tinker's Missile. A laser invisibility just in time to dodge the attack right there, otherwise he would just go down to the laser. Cast animation delay. Dagon already Dagon 1 already picked up by Rubin right here and Joy Thief still has his bling dagger now could turn into a good engagement if they manage to stun Chowser under the but before he could bling he gets pink off and he will not be able to use his bling dagger and 
He will be boomed back and brought down. Rave King now on the run to Kinetic Field. Drop just in time. Follow up by a Static Storm to will bring the him down for his ultimate we popped out which doctor setting up an ultimate in a very good position unable to be cancer off and um Bogolu will be caught off will be caught away from his team and brought down but cyphers will be burst down by the tinker by a rubin and chauzer will chase um the witch doctor that will miss will ensure that the witch doctor stays alive ultimate used up by chauzer to, to get out of the position but the tinker missile will cash the Witch Doctor Medusa Dyer's getting the last hit on the T2 and this game looks extremely secure and in the hands of Wizards of the Bitch right here. Tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower I haven't stopped is talking attack. for a while, <laughs> I just Radiant's realized that. And blinking in attack. here, engagement troll up by an EMP and a tornado which doesn't catch any hero. That's kind of a sad tornado, but now my lessons continue with uh, only like over extension. This lag, he just walked too far away. He will heal himself up and Guardian Angel finally a Guardian Angel. First Guardian Angel I've seen the whole game. Did he just hit level 6? Okay, he hit level 7 recently. So. No sorceries avail. He manages to stay alive. And Disruptor is actually completely out of mana, getting closer and closer to his mechanism. Um, working for attack. a medallion, quite sure he's working towards medallion. Chowser already with his Lincoln Spear, working towards the Desolator. And Medusar, Manta style. Oh, okay, it could still be a casual Yasha into a Scuddy, it's hard to say. Tinker, of course, we know he picked up his Dagon, he will likely be working towards a Dagon 5 right now just to make things more interesting because he can burst people down so quickly um, besides Joy keep picking up a Boom Dagger there really isn't much item progression uh, the Beast getting closer to his eels but they are really far behind right now 15,000 gold lead right there actually a 20,000 gold lead and a 15,000 gold experience Scepter out on the invoker actually and we have here the network <laughs> uh, the top three farmers top on warlocks of the beach is double the value of the top farmer on defense of the patients this this game is now just a ceremony Dyer's more than an actual game attack. an engagement here coming up from top chowser just toying around poking them he is the the offlane reaver is the most fun hero on the on the on warlock's team and he is, has a value of 10,000 and the top value on defense of the patient is actually central who only has 4,005 he will now attempt to bring down there uh, the Death Ward being dropped down on the Chowser who does not have his ultimate might die right here but Sukuchi will be able to save him he will not be able to connect over aggression there will let the Omina bring him down Central Warrior will die on the back and that feels like a bad engagement for Warlocks but I don't really think it matters right now and more of us here EMP chose up before the swap could get in range and Tinker here <laughs> coming in to just bring down the witch doctor. Now that's bleeding edge technology. More pushing coming up from Ruby, who is now close to his six level 16. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. And they will be adding the pressure on the bottom and the middle lane.
Because now Warlocks have a lot of room for error with the lead that they have and how far their hero is. They just have a lot of room of, for error and the death there on Chelzer will see Tinker overtake him on network but it really doesn't matter right now. The, the kill that in oh an EMP being dropped down right here but Tornado Eels I believe being used onto Chelzer but will will pop his Lincoln in more than anything else. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Sentry ward being dropped here. Chelsea might not want to be too aggressive and he might not be able to bring him down. Guardian Angel being popped defensively right there, but Tinker should still be able to kill him down. A uh, central warrior popped up his ultimate. A uh, Arubin in danger right here. Might even might still be able to bring down the Nope, he will not be able to bring down it, but the Chelsea will come in and center that. And Kinetic Fuel catching three with the ultimate. Very, very beautiful. The Chaos are diving all the way in, catching one and bringing down Joint Tip. Cypress now being trapped right here. He will have his ultimate pop and, and the beast being swapped up from the def from the tower and brought down by Chowser who has a triple Q and will not get his ultra Q because French Spirit is the one that brings it down. One for five team wipe there, right there. So a thousand goes through. And GG caught up by Defense of the Nations. Really excellent execution of the laning phase and just Radiant the end of the game. Victory. Just excellent execution of laning phase by the Warlocks and we take game one and we'll be back with game two very quickly.